Hey, it's Caroline. I'm back with a new video. So today I'm making up my beautiful friend Melody for her bridal shower. So we're just going to get started. So this gorgeous wig that we use for my beautiful friend is from Tanisha Hair. This is their 250. Yes, I sell it right. 250 um, density wig. This wig was extremely full and bouncy this is the 13 by 6 lace frontal brazilian body wave wig okay um the length is 24 inches and you guys just how this wig is full and thick that's exactly how it looks This wig comes with four combs inside, two adjustable scribes in the back, and the laces in the front. It's a 13 by 6 deep um, parting space. It also comes with a pre plug hairline with baby hair all around the lace frontal. I don't want to be for the brand. She drinking drinks. <laughs> she drinking mascara. <laughs> All right, so we switch up location. We are at her mom's house. That's where she's gonna get ready for her bridal shower. So we are starting off with our ball cap method. Um, I'm just placing the um, cap on and then I'm going to um, put holes in the ear tabs just to make sure that the ear tabs is um, neatly flat around her ears. And then I'm just going in here and I'm going to take my got to be glue spray and spray down the ball cap just to make sure that the cap, the stocking sticks down to her head. And then I'm using my blow dryer to blow dry the um got to be glue spray um dry taking my pair of scissors after the um, cap is dry i'm going to cut off the extra stockings on around her face and around her um hair Next, just to change the stocking caps that matches her skin tone, I'm just applying some foundation on the cap. Next, it's time to apply the cap. I went in here and I put the 30 by 6 lace frontal wig on. And I'm, right now, I'm just positioning it, making sure that it fits her hair properly. And that is her handsome son. He's just one year old and he's such a cutie pie. So using my ghost bond hair glue, I apply it to her hairline. I did do three layers at the time and I'm waiting for it to dry um, and get clear before I stick the cap down. And while waiting, she was fascinated by herself. Oh, did I mention I am one of the bridesmaids in this wedding? Yes, I am one of the bridesmaids in her wedding. She is so hyped for her bridal shower. She couldn't wait to start dancing and just partying and get the ball rolling. She was so excited and I'm so, so happy for her. And once the glue was clear and tacky, it was time to put the lace down onto the glue. So I just pulled the lace onto the glue and I make sure it was situated on top of the glue and I asked her to assist me in holding it 
just so that it sticks down correctly then I did use my blow dryer to blow it down and make sure that it's dry and it's clear completely So once we got the lace down on her head and the wig was situated, it was time for us to style this wig. She did ask me for a side part and I wanted to give her a nice um, luxury hairstyle with the hair tucked behind her ears. So when I did part the hair roll, I noticed that the parting space wasn't wide enough. So I did take my tweezers and I plucked out some hair out of this parting space. This just opened up the parting space and make it look a little bit more natural. So once the parting space is open, you can see how nice and natural that looks. Looks so much better. Moving on, I'm just using my thread and needle and I'm sewing down the back of the wig. With my thread and needle, I go from one side to another side through the wig and sew down the back. This just helps the wig stays on more secure, especially for my brides and weddings um, because people are going to be hugging and touching and you just want to make sure the wig is secure and down. So once we secure the wig in the back and the glue is um, completely dry in the front, it was time to cut that extra lace off. And you can see how plugged this wig is. I did not plug this wig whatsoever. Just how the hairline came, that's just how it stays. And I put it on her hair. It did not need any extra plugging. It was perfect for her hairline. Um, after we cut off um, the lace, it was time to do our meltdown. So what I did was I gave her a little bit of baby hair. She didn't want too much baby hair, but I gave her a little bit because we was going to be curling this way. So I used my Nairobi Foaming Mousse, my go-to grill, holy grill powder, and I put this over the hairline and I gave her a little bit of baby hair just to make it look really um, nice and more natural in the front uh, Once we was done with that I took my 10x wrap I put it over it for an extra mail and a more seamless mail I used my elastic band and put that over the 10x wrap This elastic band can give the client a headache But it works. It just gave you a nice melt and your lace will be seamless once you take it off And next, it was time for curling and styling this wig. Um, this wig was so full, so bouncy. So I wanted to give her the luscious body curls that it came with. But I just wanted to define the curls even more and just make her look so beautiful and nice. So what I did was took my curling wine. It's like my one-fourth curling wine. And I just used some spray and I used the curling wine. Um, curl the hair and then I took my metal pins my big metal pins and I placed it on each curl and kept the curls um, In place with the metal pins just to make sure that the curls cooled off before taking it down This doing this um, just help the curls last all through the day or last through the night And it just helps makes the curls last a little bit more longer After curling her entire hair, we kept the curls. I just went ahead and took the 10x off. And this is how beautiful the meltdown looks. You can see how natural and seamless that meltdown looks. So now it was time for us to move on to do her makeup. Moving on with makeup, we're starting off with a clean face. So I'm just cleaning up her face a little bit. Next, we are moving on to primer using my Becca 
um, poreless matte primer to prime her face. Next, moving on to brows, I'm using a dark brow pencil with my next brow pencil and the color is chocolate for the next brow pencil and I'm just going to be drawing out her eyebrows. Next to curve out and clean up her eyebrows, I am using the Early Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn to um, clean up her eyebrows and scalp around it. For the upper part of her eyebrows, I am using a um, concealer close to her skin tone and I'm using it from the NYX Color Correcting Palette. And I'm just using that color because it's close to her skin tone on the top of her brows. Using the Inglot um, 95 Gel Liner, I'm going to base her entire eyelid before I start to apply my eyeshadows. Next for her eyeshadow, I am using the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette and I'm using the two brown shade and a dark brown shade in the palette for her first eyeshadow. Um, as a, as her transition color shade. Now for her pink shadow, I'm using this um, color palette that I got from BH Cosmetic, and I'm just taking a pink shade and popping that in her crease just to define her crease shadow. And then I'm using a plain blending brush to blend it out. Taking the same um, In Glass 95 gel liner, I'm going to cut her crease. Now for her lid color, I just use a gold eyeshadow and then I pop some Jewelers Cosmetic White Gold um, Eye Pigment over her eyelid just to give her a little bit of sparkle during the night. I know the camera is throwing the gold sparkle off, but it was definitely sparkling all over the place. If you look closely, you can see the Jewelers Cosmetic sparkle all over um, the camera. Moving on, I am using my Sephora um, liquid liner to um, add her eyeliner and then I went ahead and popped on some lashes. Moving on to the face for foundation for her perfect skin tone, I was able to get the Maybelline 24 hour wear foundation and this is in the color warm coconut. That's why I used, and it was her perfect skin tone, her perfect match. I didn't have to mix her foundation. And for her concealer, I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I used the color Tan Deep Sand 47S. And using my Beauty Blender, I'm Blending out the concealer under her eye and all over her face. And after using my beauty blender, I'm taking the same foundation brush I use for her foundation and blending out any harsh lines that the concealer has. We want a seamless and flawless blend. For contour, I'm using a black opal foundation stick and I think it's in cocoa. Um, to set her um, concealer under her eye, I am using a MAC Studio Fix powder to set under her eyes. Then I went in with my Revolution um, 
banana powder and I'm setting over the MAC Studio Fix powder. This just gave a flawless on our eye highlighter. And to set the rest of her face, I'm using the MAC Mini Rise Skin, Skin Finish Powder in Deep Dark. To contour her nose and her face, I am using the Black Radiant Skin Finish Powder. And to give her that flawless browns up look, I am browning up her skin with the Ebony Bronzer. Once after I finished bronzing up her skin, I realized that my camera battery was almost dying um, and I wanted to give you guys the finished look. So I went ahead and I'm just going to tell you what I did for the rest of the face. I took off the setting powder. I added a little bit of blush to her face using my blush powder from BH Cosmetics. And then for lips, I just went in with a dark brown pencil. A lip gloss and I used the lingerie lipstick from NYX and I just applied that to give her a nude lipstick and that was pretty much it for this look I spray her face and added a little bit of highlight and voila this is the finished look I was actually hurrying up to finish the hairstyle to give you guys the finished look because my camera was all red and the battery was going to die. But doesn't she look gorgeous? She looks so beautiful and she looks stunning after I was done with her makeup and her hair. For now, I'm just finishing up the hair. Just I'm doing finishing touches. I wanted it tucked behind her ear, so I'm placing it behind her ear and I'm adding a clip with some hairspray just to keep it in place for the night this is pretty much it for this hairstyle and this makeup look if you guys want to see more of my bridal hairstyle makeup video make sure you like this video and comment and follow me on instagram i always have my instagram stories popping with bridal makeup and hair looks but if you want to see more videos on my youtube comment like this video and I will see if I can take my camera along when I go do my bridal showers and my bridal makeup. And we can have uh, different episodes of getting ready videos of my bride on this channel. Thank you for watching. Check out this way. Um, I will leave all the links in the description box. As always, I love you. I will catch you all in my next video.